Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you never miss any of my wig related content. Today I'm bringing you a wig review for Continental Wigs, which is a company located in the UK. We are gonna take a look at this beautiful natural image wig. I've always wanted to try a wig by natural image, so they reached out and offered one. So this is natural image, so darling, in the beautiful color, Caramel Glow Rooted. More on her in just a minute. Let's get started talking about this cute wig. So this is So Darling by Natural Image. I do want to mention that Continental Wigs is a wig business that is a family-owned business that has been in business for over 20 years. They're also going to be offering a really nice Christmas gift. This is going to be November 3rd through December 22nd. So I want to show you this really quick. With your wig purchase, you will receive a nice wig stand. I use these for drying. I also use these to store some of my wigs. Um, a very nice comb. It's got a, a pick on the end, very nice wig comb. And then um, a little sampler of the Ellen Villa shampoo and balm. So really, really nice little, um, little extras that you get that they're offering as a Christmas gift. So just wanted to mention that before I get started. So let's start talking about So Darling. So great name, I do think she is So Darling. Just a really cute little loose wave bob. Um, you know, just really easy style, throw on and go, full mono top, extended lace front, really, really happy. So I'll do a turn so you can see it all the way around, then we'll get into all the specs. So And this is regular synthetic. It is not heat friendly, so just regular synthetic fiber. Uh, really, really pretty. I realize with the blondes in here and with my lights shining, you are seeing some sheen to the fibers. That is very easy taken care of with uh, dry shampoo or with, I like to use cornstarch. You can also use baby powder or something like that. But the cornstarch works really, really nicely. So, and I do have a video on my channel showing how I um, remove that. I will pop it in right here so you can check that out too. So, so really, really cute style. So let's take a look at the extended lace front. These are very affordable. One thing um, I do want to mention about their website is whenever you go to order, you will see the prices, of course, are going to be in British pounds in the UK currency, but under that, you will see the price listed in the US dollars as well. So if you're shopping in the US, which I know most of my viewers will be, you know, just take a look at that US price and just pay attention to that. So, so here is the lace front. I think the knots look really good. This one does have a medium to dark brown root. This color does. So really, really nice. And like I said, that ex that's an extended lace front that goes true temple to temple, which is really nice. So she has a full mono top. So I have her parted on the left, but you can part in the middle. You can have your dream right side part that I've been hearing so much about lately. So many people wanting right side parts, but um, you know, they're very hard to come by with just a mono part wig. So a full mono top will give you that ability to have your right side part if that is what you like. So let me show you the ear tabs. I've got great coverage. So as far as fit, this um, cap is considered to be average, but this is running um, on the smaller side of average for me. It is a wefted cap, so there's plenty of stretch, but I didn't have to bring in the circumference. It's fitting me fine ear to ear and it's fitting me fine forehead to nape. So, um, you know, something to note about the fit of this wig. So, so measurements we have from the crown. Sorry, they do. There's a little bit different <laughs> or order wise from what I'm used to. So from the crown, we have eight and a half inches, which is also 22 centimeters. They use tend to use, you know, they use centimeters in the UK. Um, a three inch nape, which is eight centimeters. And the sides are seven and a half inches, which is 19 centimeters. So um, weight wise, do I have a weight written down? I don't think I do. Very, very lightweight. I would guess three ounces or so. So super, super light. Okay, I will pop her off and we can look at the interior of her cap. Okay, so here is that full mono top. I just love that. You've got full, you know, top coverage. And like I said, that means that you can part it wherever you want to. So you can change your part and you can even, you know, wear your part different ways to style it different. So that's kind of nice. One day left, one day right, one day middle, whatever you want to do. So, and then here is that extended lace front, nice and sheer. 
very natural. I love that they extend it down into those ear tabs to give you that true temple to temple coverage. She has soft felt ear tabs with a metal stay. Helps that keep, you know, nice and flush against your face. An open wefted cap. An extended soft felt nape with Velcro adjusters. Plenty of stretch in the wefted cap and they're stretching the circumference as well. So really, really cute style. Okay, let's start talking about this beautiful color. So this is Caramel Glow Rooted. They did not give any numbers or a color description. Uh, they did say that it has a number six root. So I will show you that root in just a minute. Um, so I just looked at the wig and I'm just going to give you my own description. So I definitely feel like it's a warm color. Um, I can see the caramel brown going through there, which is a warm, more golden toned, um, almost it, in some light, it almost has a reddish look to it. And then you can see that it has a gold blonde highlight going through it. And uh, then this rooting color is a six. So I would consider that to be a medium to dark brown root. So anywhere you separate the hair, you're gonna see that root color. You'll see it, you know, down here along the ear tabs. I think I put the lighter, yeah, the lighter uh, strands are right at the lace front, but then you'll start to see that root color. You'll see it at the nape. You can see it there around the face. Okay, let's go check it out outdoors. So here we are outside with this Caramel Glow Rooted. So you can see the variation in those colors, the dimension. You can see that caramel brown, and you can see that golden blonde highlight. See the root. There's your lace front. Here we are in overcast light, which is so good for looking at color. So you can see that dimension, those pretty colors. This is where I say you see almost like a bit of a red when you get in this um, natural light. Here's your rooting color. Okay, we can look at glasses and styling and all that. So she's really low density. I'm not really feeling any permatease in this wig. There certainly isn't any on the top. I'm not feeling, you know, like a bump of it when you come off the mono top. There's just a little bit of teasing right where the fibers attach to the cap, but it doesn't really feel like much, you know? So I think the, the lift and everything that you're seeing is coming just from the style, you know? So um, really, really nice. And I think it, it has such a nice part and it gives such a nice like cowlick appearance here um, when you cut right at the edge of that mono top, looks really, really good. So, okay, so glasses, obviously you can tuck her behind the ears because she's low density. You know, my ears aren't sticking out or anything like that. So um, you can put your glasses, you know, on. I put, I put glasses on top of my ear tabs. Um, you can put them up on your head. I always tuck the hair before I put my glasses up just to make sure I don't push my wig back when I'm pushing my glasses on. So, um, of course, with a wavy wig like this, you can also just, you know, just stick your glasses in the wig as well. So she looks cute with a headband. And this, what was this front? Well, they didn't give me a front measurement. I imagine it's about the same as the sides, about seven and a half. So it will stay back, all the way back in a headband. And this, of course, I love these headbands. I always say this lately, I've been saying, you know, it's, it's uh, they're really easy on the hair fibers. So, you know, pushing them back with a headband like this, with a satiny, because these are just from Amazon, very easy, um, you know, is very easy on your fibers. And it looks really, really cute. It's a cute way to style it without, you know, doing a lot to your fibers and, um, you know, causing damage to your fibers. So super cute. Of course, you could also just stick one in. That would be cute. You could stick one in that's more like, you know, got little jewels or whatever. That would be cute too. So she does have the length to go half up, half down. However, I think the very front layer is gonna to wanna to come down. So you're gonna to have to just work with a little bit. You can either just, the easiest way to do it would be just to clip it on each side, maybe with a bobby pin or some little claw clips. 
And if you do that, you'll, uh, this might stay in if you do that, especially if you were to twist it. I think it, you could get the front to actually stay in there. But if you're gonna clip it up, you know, in the back, it will clip up. You're gonna have to work with this hair, you know, and pull it all together back here. Get it all in your clip. But if you're gonna wear it like this, then these front layers are definitely gonna to wanna to come down, which is fine. I think it looks really, really pretty like that. So, you know, I would just wear it like that. I wouldn't worry about, you know, um, and I know it doesn't look perfect, but remember I'm styling on camera, so. But, um, you know, I think it looks really, really pretty. I love that little, the the wave there at the by the front, by the face. I think it looks really, really pretty. So, you know, she doesn't have the length like for a ponytail or anything with only a three inch nape. So, and then of course, you know, you can always just style off your lace front because she has such a nice lace front. Remember, you can part her wherever you want to. So, you know, you could do like a full, you know, bump up on the top, or you could just, if you've got her side parted, you could just do, you know, pull just the front back. You could also put one layer, you know, behind your ear if you want to, just different things like that. She's not too bad with the face flopping. She might face flop a little bit initially. And if you had to look down for a long time, like, you know, on your, com at your computer, or, you know, looking straight down, you might want to um, use that little trick of just sticking that, that little front layer right behind your ear, just temporarily, you know, or you could just stick it behind, you know, like that. So, but she's really cute. I think she's really fun to play with and fun to style and a very, very uh, nice cap construction and really, really cute style. I like, I like the fibers. So I'm really, really happy, you know, with this. So remember that starting on November 3rd, they are going to have this little free gift. As long as you spend 150 pounds, which is um, at least 150 pounds, which is at least $182.10 in US dollars, you will receive this nice gift November 20, November 3rd through December 22nd. So, so I want to thank Continental Wigs for sending this wig to review for you all today. I will put a link to purchase in the um, description box below the video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.